In this final lesson, we're going to add some additional configurations. I prefer sidebar to have the same color as editor color. So let's get back to that color customizations object where we define overrides for colors. And in here I'm gonna add another entry with a name sidebar background and assign particular color for the sidebar. And after saving the changes, the sidebar color will be the same as the rest of the interface. And please note that I have added this entry into the nested object that is assigned to the key that corresponds current theme name. And that means that this sidebar color will only be active when the theme with name or a Dracula spirit will be active. Alright, let's continue with the remaining settings. The next one is responsible for auto saving files. I will use after delay value, which will make files to be auto saved after short delay. The next setting allows us to specify update strategy. By default VS Code will be automatically updated, but I'm gonna disable these automatic updates. Because sometimes some updates might break compatibility with some of the extensions that I use. So I prefer to update VS Code manually. And the last setting is called Extensions Ignore Recommendations. At the bottom right corner of VS Code, some pop-ups appear with extension recommendations. So by adding this setting, I'm disabling those extension recommendations. Some of these settings require VS Code to be fully restarted. And actually, one more thing before we finish. I have noticed that when sidebar is open, sometimes those window management buttons cover part of the file name. Let's fix that by adding one more overwrite into stylesheet object. I'm basically going to add horizontal margins to the block with a file name. Let's save the file, agree with all these confirmations, wait until VS Code restarts, and let's check it out. I'm gonna open up sidebar once again, and this time, as you can see, file name is fully visible. And that's about it. This is our final configuration file. I'm also going to apply auto formatting to this file. For that, I will use Proteor extension. In the command palette, I'm going to run format document with and choose Proteor option. And this is the final VS Code look. After using it like this for some time, there is a high chance that it is going to make you use keyboard shortcuts much more. And with time, it will become a habit. And if you would like to check out my key binding configuration, there is a separate playlist on the channel called VS Code Productivity, where I configure each of my keyboard shortcuts step by step. And for people who use Vim from within VS Code, there is another playlist about VS Code new Vim extension where I show my configuration of this extension in details. And for everybody who doesn't know what Vim is, I highly recommend to check it out. Link to the repository with the final configuration file, as well as links to all those playlists that I have mentioned in this video, I'm going to leave in the video description.